Hey guys, what is up? And before you freak out and say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's finally out. I've got some bad, 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 bad news for you. So if you don't go on the Discord, then you probably don't know this. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out all the redstone I used to make this map. Yeah. That's what mess messing up a slash fill command can do for you. Uh, <laughs> But don't worry, I will probably make Quantum Labs 2. This was Quantum Labs, going to be Quantum Labs 0. I finished everything. I was testing it. Um, I had had a couple test worlds that I deleted because I was going through and copying the world, testing the world, deleting the world, adding new things. And I accident when I was adding something new, I accidentally failed and all the command blocks are gone and I can't recover any of the deleted uh, test worlds that I had. So, yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to kind of explain to you what happen, what would happen in each room in the best way I can. Um, hopefully we can move on. It's not that big a deal. The point of the backstory was at least for you to know a little something. I was kind of, I really enjoyed making it. I was going to have a bunch of Easter eggs, but you'll just have to either A, notice the Easter eggs as I go through them in this, or B, f find the, the information out as you go through Quantum Labs 2 if I make it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, there will be a little uh, kind of like a survey for you guys that you can take to kind of help me decide what to do next. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's get right into this little map, quote unquote. So the player wakes up here in the bed and uh, it kind of is like, oh, this is what happened to uh, this is what happened to Alex when they were a kid and why they ended up becoming a robot. So. Well, half robot, cyborg. So they wake up in the room, their dad calls them down the stairs, and they go downstairs, and he should be here. This is a really detailed house I made, which I'm really sad that is not in a map. I'll let you guys, actually, I'll let you guys download the map afterwards. Uh, I'll let you download the map anyway, even though there isn't really any redstone. You can just check things out. Um, anyway, so your dad's here, and he's like, hey, what's up? Your little brothers are waiting outside for you, so you go outside. And sure enough, your brother should be outside, but he's not because it would spawn him in based on commands. So if you picked, uh, if you picked your way through Quantum Labs One, where uh, Alex is a female, then the uh, the your your sibling Gray would also be a female. If you picked male, then your sibling Gray would also be a male. And you come out here and you play. They're like, "Hey, get the soccer ball, go to the shed." So you go out to the shed. And the shed is locked, as you can see with the slimes. Um, so since it's locked, you have to use a system I set up where you're able to push this if you're against the edge, which we'll probably see again in Quantum Labs 2. Since I didn't get to use it in here, I won't be satisfied with it. I'll be like, frick, I better have new things. But there will be some different ones. But anyway, so you push it, and you push the block, and you push it. You can't push it anywhere else. There is uh, piston extensions here that you can't see because it's a piston extension, so you can't push this into the piston extensions. So you push it all the way over here, and you parkour inside. Then you parkour inside and you grab yourself the ball and then the uh, one of these things collapses and you're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Kind of like foreshadowing. Then you come back here. The door will be unlocked because you can open it from the inside. Um, and then you go over here and you bring the ball back and you drop the ball down uh, over here and you actually play soccer. It's got custom AI and kicking the soccer ball. Well, it did. Um, and you kick the ball around and you have to score four points right before you win. First one to five, and right before you win, the next time you kick it, it flies off in a haywire direction over here into the middle of the road. That's when these barriers open up, and you're like, I need to go get the ball. So you run after the ball, and a car comes swooping in through here and just smashes into you, and the screen goes black. You get hit by a car, and then you end up inside here, where you wake up and your dad is out there and they're like oh you're finally awake uh we had to make a few changes to you blah 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 and you're like what the heck what i'm and uh so you follow him and he's like oh we need to test you to let you uh kind of get used to your new parts uh, as you're on your way there's a really cool system i set up where it kind of like spins your head so you're kind of woozy right uh, i did that and now it's gone so anyway so you come in here and he's like okay make your way up there and you're like what are you saying i'm not a parkour beast and he's like nah i improved your legs uh after the crash and blah 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 i'm really destroying the story by saying it because i can't i'm not being as accurate as it was so just pardon me for that so you get over here and you're like how am i supposed to make this and he's like i increased your grip strength that's not exactly what he says but that's the 
majority of it. Uh, so we so you're able to jump here, and if you crouch while against a ledge, you're able to hover, and it looks just like this. You're like that. Um, but once you move off the ledge just a slight bit, which means you let go of it, you fall. Um, and if you want, you jump, and you get like a jump boost, so you can fly exactly high enough up to here. So that was another really cool mechanic that you might see again in a later map. Maybe I'll go back and do a different backstory, but I don't think I'll be remaking this because one of my biggest problems is remaking things. I really hate remaking things. Uh, it would take me forever to redo this. And if you didn't notice, 1 through 9, this was for keypads, which I'll show you what used to be a keypad later. Um, just I was so stoked. There was so much cool stuff, and I know it really sucks for me too, but let's just get through this and explain the story. So anyway, so this thing opens up. Uh, really, this isn't story. This is just uh, stuff that would have been fun to play. So you get yourself a visor. Uh, I used the texture from uh, for the inside of the visor from the Star Wars, the Mine Wars texture pack, and the visor lets you see things on the wall. The blocks will glow, and those blocks you can walk through. They're basically just shulkers that teleport players um, so you can walk through and you do a little puzzle here and you get a key and then you f run all the way back here and you unlock this room. When you come in, the room door, the door shuts behind you and you're like, what the heck? I thought you were going to let me go after these tests. And he's like, oh, there's so many more tests. And then he says, good night. And the lights turn off and you're like, I got to get out of here. So now you have to solve another puzzle. And this is where you push the block around so that you can parkour up to here. And then you use your uh, jump wall grab and climb up to here. And you push this block down onto there, and then you jump and ledge grab here, and you swing in through. It was just so cool. You swung into the vents, broke the vents, and you're in the vents. So this is where I was going to put a lot of Easter eggs with these, because that vent, this would lead to an Easter egg if the player knew how to get through it. The way to get through it is that you jump on a vent, and what will happen is it will eventually break. Uh, but that's not there, so... Um, so anyway, so you go through the maze. It's a little difficult, but not too bad. Get over here, and it says, oh, ventilation cover. Do not jump. So if you jump, it'll break it. Uh, I did that. It. I told the players that that will happen afterwards. That way, perhaps they would realize later that, hey, I could have broken maybe those other ventilation shafts. So either they'll go back or they'll just restart the map. Uh, so you come in here. Door opens for you. This was one of the coolest rooms. Um, you f have to figure out that you parkour on top of this. And you get on top, and there's a block that drops you through, and you activate this pressure plate, which would open this up, and you can push the block around into this area that obviously looks a little suspicious. You push the block onto there, and these pods went down slowly, like, all the way into the ground, and then glass filled over them, and then this door opened up to reveal the broken down elevator. This is where another Easter egg is. Uh, you can jump, and this will break this ventilation cover, and you'll come into here, which I'd never made the Easter egg for down here, but there would have been one. Uh, then you parkour your way up here using the wall grabs, uh, and you come into this room. This is the Vex's internal data storage, and you have to get the uh, some memory from his, some data from his memory. It's the codes, encrypted codes. Bring it over to his computation to uh, decrypt the codes, and then bring it over to the processor to uh, get those codes and this is backup storage where another Easter egg would have been, but I didn't put it in. A lot of Easter eggs aren't here because that's what I was going to work on after making sure the map worked. So then this, th then you know the codes, so you're able to come back here. And I made this really cool texture for a passcode, and I'm probably going to use this in the next map. Uh, anyway, so the way this keypad worked, would you would grab the code, which was 5, and then the thing would pop you out, and it would have all these back in it. And then you go 8, and then it would pop you out, all these back in it. 4, pop you out and then seven pop you out. And if you did the right code, it'll say ac access granted. If you didn't, then it'll say access denied and reset. Uh, if you got it right, then it opens up. And you come down to the main hall. Your dad's like, ha, huh, did you really think doing all that would make me uh, not tell? I wouldn't be able to tell what is going on. So then we go over here and we run through here and there's a chase where the guards chase after you and you're running and running and running uh, and you make it all the way it's so long but you get over here and into the uh main lift where this is it shuts and you go up in the elevator this thing opens up really cool effect but you know not there anymore and then you're up here and you're like i gotta get out of here i gotta find gray and i gotta we gotta run so you run back and you go to the house and you go in through the main door and sure enough your dad is waiting for you at the top of the stairs and he says oh didn't you know i 
didn't you expect this? Uh, it was all basically everything that we did back there to escape was all just a part of another test. He knew it, and the player might have suspected that um, because it was there was a lot of test type elements uh, which tested the things that you had just learned how to do. Uh, so it kind of explains why it was a lot of uh, it wasn't very um, natural seeming. Like it doesn't seem like oh there just happens to be a room here with the codes. Um, but anyway, so then he, uh, he's like, didn't you know you couldn't go anywhere without your battery power? And you're like, wait, what battery power? And it's like, shutting down, and then lights go black, and you end up back in the water tube, and he's, and then he's just standing there looking at you, and it puts you in game mode 3, and that is the end of the map. So, that's the gist of it. I wish I could have had, uh something for you guys to play it's really upsetting um so basically this map i mean there wasn't much story to it anyway i'm it would be way more devastating to have this happen with quantum labs 2 but from now on i will be making backups every day that i work on the map uh, it's really stupid i just i don't know why i didn't do it before probably because it had never happened to me but anyways guys that's not the end i'm going to explain discuss some things now so quantum labs 2 i don't know when it'll come out uh I feel really unmotivated to work on this right now. Um, I'm considering some other projects, but maybe I'll work on Quantum Labs 2 as well. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than this map. There's a lot more story going on in it. Um, I created a whole new chat system, if you're wondering, for Click to Advance that was just so good. Um, but you'll have to see it in the next Quantum Labs. Uh, so where we are right now, so I, if you've been keeping up with Minecraft events, you would know that there is a new thing with, that they're going to be adding where Windows 10 version uh, creators can create content and sell it, like create a map and sell it to people for a certain amount of money. I may want to make one of those maps just to see if I can get any money because I don't get any money from these maps anyway. Releasing this map, doing this Quantum Labs would have meant pretty much nothing to me. It, it was 100% for you guys. I wouldn't make any money off of it and I didn't from any of the other maps. Um, but uh, anyways, I would like to make a little money because I am going to be going off to my four-year university soon, and that's going to cost pro thousands of dollars a year. And uh, if I can make some money off of my maps, then maybe I won't have to stop making them because with the increased amount of time that I'll be working to have money, um, I won't be able to work as much on these things for you guys. Uh, I probably won't stop doing videos. I can still do tutorials because they don't take me that long to do. Um, but making these maps taking me tons and tons of time. Uh, so if I can possibly do something where I can get some money, then I'll be able to work more on maps. But as of right now, I probably won't be able to. Uh, I'll try my best this summer to get at least one map done before I start working. Um, but we'll have to talk, figure that out as it goes. I don't really plan things much. So... In terms of planning things, on another note, the next map that I want to build, I will have a link in the description to be what do you think the next map should be. Currently this month, I'm going to be working a lot on the uh, the server. I've added some cool stuff. If you haven't been on the server in a while, go there, check it out. I've, I've been adding new things. I'm adding a sixth quest. If you haven't been on the server yet, uh, go ahead and check it out. It's really fun. I made it easier to level up for the first 10 levels. It's kind of like an RPG server, if you haven't heard about it. Uh, first 10 levels are a lot easier to level up. Uh, some of the bosses are a lot weaker. We are adding side quests quite often, and we're adding new major quests pretty soon here, as well as new items and new shops. I also reduced a lot of the lag, and uh, that was a while back, though. So if you guys go in the description of this video... Um, there'll be a straw poll where you can vote on three, a couple different maps. Uh, some that I know that I'll throw in there that I'll make, that I have an option to make is some things that people have commonly asked for a sequel to. So for example, a sequel to A Weekend in Hartsville, I was planning maybe doing a sequel to it, uh, that's summer themed, maybe revolve it around July, uh, around the 4th of July or something. Um, if not, then just summer in general. Um, and then another option would be Quantum Labs 2, of course. Uh, another option would probably be some other new map. Um, I'm not sure. It'll probably involve uh, the Windows 10 edition, an option for that. Uh, but other than that, you can go in there, look at it. I'll have it all there. You can pick, and I'll 
use that to somewhat influence what I make. Like if people really want a specific map, then uh, I'll definitely do that. If you have any things that you want me to want to see more of, just leave a comment in the description. I had some people that wanted to see another bit how to build a map uh, video sets for maybe a mini game or maybe a different type of map like parkour or adventure. I did it for horror before. Um, but other than that, guys, that's about it. I don't have much more I want to say. Um, so if you guys want anything, just put something in the description. I have a couple videos that I might do, but not too, not really anything planned. Uh, but I'll definitely be doing more tutorial videos now that I'm done with uh, working on this map and screwing it up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.